So to me, when I think about Jesus, I think about him as a pursuer. For all of my life, he has been pursuing me in order to bring me into the fold, into a relationship with him. Everything that has led up to the moment where I accepted Jesus as my Savior has been uh, a pursuit, right? A pursuit of him after me and wanting to be, bring me into the fold. Uh, just through the, the kind of the tenuous thread of chance encounters and uh, choices and everything else through my lifespan, it's just been a constant kind of weaving to get to, to where I, where I uh, finally uh, accepted just over a couple of years ago. So it's, it's been a long pursuit for me. It was about seven years ago or so, eight years ago, where I was just on a business trip and I happened upon a Christian radio station and they were discussing the crucifixion of Jesus, the actual mechanics of crucifixion. What happens, what, you know, physically. And that, that explanation, that story just absolutely sparked something in me. You know, I was attending church, not, I would say, kind of actively involved, but attending. And uh, I started reading the Bible just in church. And during service and, and flipping through. And I can absolutely remember the first, the first uh, set of verses that I had read through was all related to the building of the temple, all the materials and everything else that was, you know, that took to kind of build it, all the, you know, the design and everything else that was kind of there. And, uh, you know, I don't know that that spoke to me. That spoke to the engineering side of me. And it, it sparked an interest where I wanted to continue. And all of these events just kind of conspired to bring me closer to God, closer to Jesus. I just needed that kind of last little push. I was in a, a seabed class with, with Mike, and we were talking about becoming new members and what it takes, and, and we were discussing kind of my faith and where I had come from, and, and we were having a great discussion, and, and Mike just quite bluntly said, well, do you want to do it now? And it was just kind of the little nudge I needed to take the jump off the, off the diving board into the pool. And at that point in time, I was like, yes, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to accept Jesus as my savior and, and admit it to everybody. And that was a absolutely fantastic experience. I just, it was just a culmination of everything. All those events kind of led up to that point. Within the course of a couple years, Myself and all my children become baptized into the faith was absolutely, hands down, God had work in that. And all that was set in motion, you know, from the very first time, just be moving into the Raleigh area. And all the, all the events of my life kind of led up to that. And I see no other way that that would have happened without the influence of God. I mean, for so long, I had been very kind of focused on how I would solve a problem, I came to realize that, I, that I'm just not gonna go anywhere doing that. Jesus continues to pursue me and it's in a new way, right? It's not getting me to that point of acceptance, but now it's getting to me to that point of growth and that it's incumbent upon us. Jesus is always there. He's always pursuing, he always wants to provide assistance, counsel, guidance, love, uh, but you have to open your eyes and see it. And it may be small events, it may be large events, it may just be a spark during the day. Just stop and look, and it's there. Look for Jesus and everything.